All right, we're here on June 14th at uh, Big Ranch Piano Care. I'm Brian Whiten, and I'm here with my good friend Jeff Pedersen. Uh, and we are talking about pneumatic player pianos today. Um, they used to be quite prolific in the United States, a slice of Americana. But they're quite rare, especially to find one in working condition. So we put a lot of work into this 1915 Norris and Hyde um, upright piano with a full pneumatic player unit. And basically, the piano is, the system is designed that the, the, the player unit is actually just retrofit onto an actual acoustic piano. So you have an acoustic piano, completely functional, and then you have a player unit that uh, is in the works and that actually works with um, compressed or uh, vacuum, uh, low pressure air, which actually works through a series of tubes and actually plays each note. So the basics really quickly without getting too in-depth because it is pretty confusing. Um, suction is created with uh, foot pumps or a motor. We've got both on this. And there's a low pressure system inside the piano. There's a spool um, that's uh, a music roll that's basically perforated paper. You can see it here. It's just like a scroll with perforated paper. and. Um, this is run over what's called the tracker bar, which has one hole for each of the 88 notes. And um, quite simply, when the spool is loaded up and spun through, the paper is dragged over the tracker bar. And when you see, when a, a hole is uh, exposed, it allows atmospheric pressure into the unit. And that's what, it, it's a signal. And that's what triggers, triggers one of the corresponding 88 notes. So, this is a role that's near and dear to my heart. Uh, that wonderful mother of mine. So, mom, if you happen to be watching this and loading this up for you, maybe you'll check it out. Um, and it uh, looks like this uh, is a ballad uh, uh, printed by the Imperial Song Record Company, uh, probably in the 1900s, 1910s, uh, played by Gurnell Anderson. So this was played in and then cut from an actual recording, that wonderful mother of mine. Um, basically, I'm just about to turn it on, but when I turn it on, you'll see the air motor here. Air suction is created in with, again, with the motor, um, and it creates this uh, five-point motor system here, which will spin. As air comes in and out, it, it um, collapses these pneumatics and causes this cam to rotate, which in turn, um, it's, it's, it's a giant Rube Goldberg, actually, this, uh, this drive chain is connected to a gear that works the spindle box that turns the, um, the main uh, the spindle and then it's taken up here down below on the take up spool. And here we've got play and rewind, we've got all kinds of fancy bells and whistles here, we've got a tempo adjust, we've got some manual pedal because you can't actually pedal the piano when the, um, if you're traditionally pumping because the, um, the foot, uh, the foot pumps cover the actual pedal, so you can add effects. Like the first DJs, basically, were um, adding crescendos, decrescendos, and volume uh, effects, and uh, speeding it up, slowing it down. So that's basically the gist of how the uh, the system works. Uh, it is quite complicated. Uh, if you happen to be in Brooklyn, New York, please stop in 177 Smith Street, and we'll give you a live demo. But uh, without further ado we can listen to that wonderful mother of mine.
<laughs> yeah. That's a good one. Little waltz. Come back. I just, no, just finished. Okay. There you go. Hello. Should we run one? We should maybe put the lid on. Yeah. This is awesome. It's such a cool video. Oh, no. yeah. I mean, just the motor alone. It's like, what the?